Please subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell. Thanks, guys. Do, 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 do. All right, guys, what is all this about gold and what drives the price of gold? Here. So I did this post yesterday, this poll, and it's tough doing polls. Like, you know, you get better at it. You have to, the phrasing of the question has to be intelligent or done in such a manner where the responses they give the best accurate results super tough right so i i had to put the, the and then there's how people interpret you want to minimize the different type of interpretations then you realize by reading the results and say ah okay that's possible ah oh, that's how they interpreted the question or the poll and you know because i'm french maybe uh some of the words get uh, when i write in english uh, there's something lost in the translation but the takeaway from this question is i want to see from a contrarian aspect because these polls often they they give some type of contrarian information they give you also a pulse on because not everybody's a chart trader right so most people aren't most people they, it's daily headline news or what they hear so a poll can give you some clues to what's the sentiment or what people are feeling is driving the price of something so i just want to see what people think most and most is delicate because then i, I said out people say oh on the short term it could be manipulation or it could be us dollar but on the longer term we think i think it tracks purchasing power and that's all all correct stuff guys so for most in my head when i had most is from the inception since gold we have tracked data for gold and silver like in the 70s or or before before the gold standard was uh, broken what did gold track for me that was the most right so the most time that is the most that's how i defined it and in my in my selection here i put us dollar because that's a common theme where people say oh the us dollar is going up silver gold can go up with the us dollar going up so I had to put that in there because you guys know I have charts debunking debunking that to some extent. Inflation also I thought that was a common theme where people say hey, inflation or people say on oh, the narrative that oh, look inflation's up, gold's peaking, gold's not tracking inflation, etc. I have charts also for that. Manipulation I put in there because that's such a common theme and you see 51.7% of people put manipulation but it's like most so what are we talking about here is it like manipulation since 1970 it's always been manipulated and that has a negative connotation right manipulation i don't know the way i see it it's manipulated to downwards so the gold price will be kept down by the powers that be whoever jp morgan comics lbme governments like whatever you want to underline what gold really tracks and that's some type of logic and like i really had to think about this overnight because manipulation for me if it exists or if it's there or if people do it and they probably do it like you put a word manipulation but people just buying and selling they're manipulating the price right because eventually think about it this way like let's say somebody wants to squash the price down and they're just printing paper contracts and they're squashing the paper down well it's, a, it's still a capitalist market, right? So if people feel that these people are selling and they're creating opportunity to buy cheap, then the buyers will come in. The equal, equivalent amount of money should come in, right? And keep the offset that the people selling if they think that the price value should be where it is, etc. And on the inverse, if people are manipulating upwards, buying, 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 then if people think that's overvalued, then whoever it is manipulators or just people who want to sell should come in and take profits and sell that arbitrage play right or that extreme pendulum swing so that's super delicate word very hard I've, i don't have a chart to 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 express manipulation like to see it like there's no chart where i could see manipulation uh, i asked people to to show a chart where there's manipulation and 
I saw this one, which I'd never seen before. This is a one. I'll come back, guys, to the loss of uh, dollar tracking, gold tracking the purchasing power losses or gains or front running that. Sometimes I have a feeling that it's gold, it's a purchasing power tracking gold or closely. And that, that gives some, um, some credence to the word manipulation, right? Let's say you don't want people to know about destruction of purchasing power which i don't know why they would hide that because that they have metrics for that on the fed on the fed side since 1914 they're not even hiding it i've done this podcast there on palisades with uh, tom and I, I showed guys a clip they're not even hiding they're not even hiding uh purchasing power destruction from 1914 so i don't know why they need to keep the price of gold down more than they have to since they're not even hiding that data there's a lot to unwind there and uh, like I could probably have a long conversations about all that and purchasing power well purchasing power it's kind of tricky that one I put it in because I know I have charts to showcase that like you just saw that even that other person put that chart in but purchasing power is defined by the US dollar adjusted for inflation so purchasing power if you think that's the one that tracked gold and silver or gold silver tracks purchasing power that's actually a combination of us dollar strength and inflation so and that one got seven percent of the votes but even if i would add inflation and us dollar oh we get a 50 50 split man but people still think it's manipulation more than all those three put together because there's a lot to unpack here and then there was don talk say hey, it's fear pat it's fear but then when i use that word fear and that's why i had a question for don is who's fear don the crowds or wall streets or both because whenever i heard people in interview saying oh it's fear driving a price of gold it's like who who's fear is it mo mom and pops oh i'm scared i'm gonna go buy gold like you know people around you your friends but usually that's a contrarian when people start getting fearful gold the market will have priced in that that fear ahead of time right and mom and pop like anything buying bitcoin at over sixty thousand because they're the the fear is going to go to a million and they don't want to be left out so and then Don's answer was pretty good. It was like, okay, for him, fear. So that clarifies it. But I'm just wondering when people say, oh, it's fear. It's a fear trade gold. Are they thinking about the crowd? Because I think that would probably be less probable. But if you think it's fear about the 1% and the big money players, then that would make more sense. So let's say gold broke out in June of 2019. You could say that the big money players drove price of gold from the bottom in 2018, broke out in June 2019. They, they, drive, they drove the price of gold upwards in fear of the, the purchasing power destruction, in fear of what the Fed had to do to save the markets in the late 2018, the repo crisis and all that stuff. But again, even if that would be the narrative, the fear, I can't chart that. It's like, that's why in the selection, I only chose, there's only one I knew I couldn't chart was manipulation. Uh, I could have put fear if I would have thought, but how do you want to chart that? There's a triangle here, but as a chart trader, you guys, if you want to make money, you have to be able to chart things, find correlations that stick. You don't want to be able to, to that word fear, and especially that word fear, just the way it's set up, it's a recipe for disaster because now you'll be confusing your fear with fear that was priced in by the big money funds. And when they were writing up gold, you didn't hear about fear from the crowd. There was no fear in June of 2019 by the crowd. There was no fear by mom and pop. I used to talk to people about buying gold in late 2018 and, and for other currencies because it was breaking out in Australian dollar, Canadian dollars. And people look at me and say, Patrick, like, what are you talking about gold? Like, I'm long NASDAQ, you know? And even in June 2019, the clearest of breakouts the crowd there was no fear in the crowd so if, if, if people are going to use that word fear and they they can't feel the fear because they don't see it on cnbc right if the smart money and all these big hedge funds are buying 
out of their fear because of they don't want to lose money. They want to hedge your portfolios because of the inflation risk or loss of purchasing power. You're not going to hear that on CNBC, guys. You're just not. They want to put something there that drives emotions in people, their viewership, right? They don't want to have a few clicks from a few hedge funds who appreciate that article that they talked about fear. They want something that is going to drive them millions of views or hundreds of thousands of views. So when you use that word fear, your instinct is not to think about the answer that Don put, which is probably the correct answer. But most people, when they think fear, they don't think of the fear of those hedge funds. They think of their own personal fear as reflected in a mirror on mainstream media. And by that time, it's too late or you're close to the end when mainstream media reflects that fear in the people because the hedge funds, all these people who've been driving the price of gold from the bottom 2018 all the way to the top in 2020, their fears of those big money players has already played out. So so what's the what's the use as a chart trader if I'm going to put in a word that's going to that I can't chart that is going to drive me to emotional responses when I start feeling fear then the move is probably over me at, on the personal level goals are going to be above 1900 I'll start hearing about news so that's fear is not there but if you want to find a synonym or something close to the fear of those big hedge funds, those big money players actually moving the price, then for me, their fear is them wanting to hedge losses in their purchasing power, hedging losses in their funds because of US dollar eventual depreciation and combined by inflation. Because these two put together equals this bottom one here. So I'll, I'll just show you the charts, guys. You've, you've seen this over and over. Here's the U.S. dollar, the Canadian the gold expressing U.S. dollar. And then I'll just put the DXY. What? Hold on, compare symbol, DXY, guys. New price scale. And you'll see, in, I'll, I'll flip the gold chart, guys. Try not to, to get too bamboozled. But here's the gold chart, inversed. Inverse, inverse, inverse. Here you go. So it tracks. Kind of tracks, right? It does. So the gold has some type of correlation with US dollar here. It tracks. But look here, the US dollar spikes super high. People, oh, US dollar. Well, gold did not go super low, right? Remember, it's inverse. It stayed, stayed down. Same thing here. It tracks. But look at that. US dollar is going to the moon. Gold is not, has, done, has not done previous high here's the swing high for gold it's all the way down here it's not back at 1150 it's still close to 1800 but if you think dxy was primarily driving gold you, you'd be your trade would be far off it wouldn't be good right now so let's do inflation let's just do inflation inflation rate us I'll re-put the chart. So here is gold. Uh, this is inflation. This is gold. So yeah, okay, here it was pegged. So let's take post 70. I could have done if silver was unpegged. So yeah, look, inflation's going up. Gold's going up. But sometimes inflation is going down. Gold's going down. Sometimes gold's going up. Here gold started going up. Even while inflation was going down, inflation's going up, gold's going up. Tracks. Here pretty closely. So you know there's some type of correlation. There's some movements where just inflation, when it's going up here, inflation's going up, gold's going down, inflation's going down. But what happened? Gold is going up right here. See, gold's going down. Uh, inflation's going down. But oh, as gold is going down, inflation, inflation's going down right here. People say, hold it. I have to short gold. I have to short gold. Look at that here. Right here. Inflation is breaking down. Gold exactly when inflation broke down that is when gold bottom so let that sink in so if you think you answered inflation you think that's the driver you're partly right and that's because you see that that the correlation does not always match guys here they track they track they track like that inflation broke down here like golden line inflation broke down that was the bottom for gold once again driver here just for you to bring your eyes look at that Inflation broke down, gold kept going up. 
Why? Why? And here, so it's not always a mix. Here, tracks, tracks, tracks. Look at this here. Look what happened here, guys. Again, inflation breaks down. What happens when inflation breaks down, guys? Gold goes up. You got to be careful. So there's there's the turns where gold's going to react inversely and get everybody off guard. So that's, I love, like, there's too much shock of inflation right now. We're starting to see stuff. Canadian uh, banks, central banks have uh, inflation under control. Uh, they're going to bring it down in 2023, back down to 2%. They'll be able to normalize rates. I love those stories because as soon as this breaks down, this inflation rate, and people think, oh, this is the end of gold. If gold sniffs out, there's going to be another rally up in inflation after this one after this one unwinds it's probably going to bottom exactly as this unwinds and then it's going to ride up when the crowd gets in so if you want to make a case for the big money their fear trade then they'll be buying contrary to the crowd here when the crowd's fear goes away as inflation goes down they'll be buying because they know that's just a reprieve because they're, they're sensing that there'll be another up wave after that so look at it happened here guys right here so gold bottoms when inflation breaks down look at that the inflation kept going down 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 what happened to gold kept going up 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 and it's priced in ahead of time all this rise here so wait till, for this to break down so now i've taken care of the dxy i've taken care of the inflation so let's look at dxy adjusted for PPI or inflation as a produce, as a proxy. I'll reflip the gold chart so you get to see how well it tracks. And this tracks a lot better than just a DXY because you'll notice here as a DXY adjusted for inflation, see that peak in the 1980, 85, how high it was? It was high, it was above its 1960s high. And then you said, well, how come gold didn't go up? or go below its previous lows right now it's flipped it's because it's tracking the dxy adjusted for inflation chart look at that look how well it tracks much better especially when you you measure it in highs previous highs versus highs look at that here look at that look at that thing track when that bottoms when the dxy adjusted for inflation bottoms gold bottoms it senses ahead of time this depreciation this uh the bottom, okay, here it's bottoming since it's ahead of time. And did it once again. So right now, this has totally broken down. The DXY just hit for inflation or PPI. Gold has broken out ahead of time. Like that. It sends about six, seven months ahead of time, this move down. So now what gold is, ha is doing, it's hang hanging in there, waiting for the back test right here of the DXY adjusted for inflation. No matter, whenever that turns, gold will probably start moving, breaking out ahead of time before one to three months ahead of time before that thing breaks out. Just like here, I'll put it here, put another one. I know it's hard when it's inverse guys, right? But look at that, when this broke down, when DXY adjusted for inflation broke down, gold had already started turning the corner, right? So gold will tell you guys when it thinks that this bear market rally for the DXY versus inflation, as soon as gold starts turning back down, that means it's sensing that we're hitting this resistance right here. Or maybe there's a horizontal resistance right here and it's going to turn back down. And that's what gold does, guys. It sniffs this stuff ahead. So let's say I go back to the poll, guys, and... That is for me the most. So since 1970, what's driven the price of gold most is purchasing power. Definitely purchasing power. A combination of US dollar and inflation. So if you just voted for US dollar in a silo, you got part of the answer. And that could trap you as a trader because then after that, you won't be looking at the good things, the, good, the, the more meaningful correlations. If you just look at inflation, You'll probably be selling at the wrong time when inflation breaks down, as I showed you. That's when actually gold breaks out. So that's part of the answer. Person power is definitely the most accurate of all those three answers. 
because manipulation guys whether it goes up or down somebody manipulates up with its their hedge fund whatever it is or whatever because of the fear so substitute that fear manipulation stuff that you cannot chart i highly recommend you, you stay away from that great coffee table t discussion with the family the in-laws uh, but you can't chart that unless somebody showed me a chart and nobody did about directly manipulation on the chart since 1970 something clear that that showcases there's clear manipulation there's just not because look at this guys i'll show you one more chart here purchasing power and this is the way the fed measures purchasing power i i measured it move drawings reset chart look at this guys i'll put okay here it's inversed here and this is purchasing power this is a dxy adjusted for inflation so i that's the way i calculated it but then after that i realized that there's the fed actually tracks purchasing power so what's cool about that is you have data before 1970 and they're not even hiding it so what does this mean does this mean that the gold price is manipulated even if it was pegged the gold price in the 30s 40s until 1970 right gold price was flat they still actively measured loss of purchasing power you could still see it here so it, it's tough guys I'm, I'm not like i haven't crystallized yet in my head the, the reason why manipulation is apparent especially most when you say most like since 100 years since 40 50 years it's just not apparent because that data is not hidden anywhere and even if gold was flat the purchasing power as logged by the fed was still tracking down was not hidden all these moves down they're still there and here is the way i calculate the, the purchasing power loss with the uh i'll put it on log scale here log scale just to match look at that guys look how well it tracks the the us dollar tracks inflation adjusted us dollar tracks how the fed measures purchasing power and it's just taking a sometimes above sometimes below and that look i'll overlay one more chart guys and i have to put the silver chart because i have more data silver not pegged you see it's more free floating i have to put down the log chart look at this guys when purchasing power bottoms silver tops so purchasing power bottoms and start oh they're doing something great i don't know who they did in the 20s uh, destruction of debt uh, higher gdp uh, whatever it is that's when silver bottomed topped and look here when purchasing power hits a peak and then they're starting to be unwind in purchasing power destruction of purchasing power to finance the war whatever it is silver bottoms prices that in so you see silver did does track this yes there's spikes i would have i could have probably put a moving average for silver to smooth that out but if i have just a rising trend line here it goes down here it goes up because this is tricky people always compare silver to peaks but if you forget the, these blow off peaks you'll see that over time silver is the complete opposite of the purchasing power destruction right here guys it, it just does it these are blow off tops where you guys make a lot of money take profits and these bottoms here these are buying opportunities when the charts give you an edge and let you get in so it's clear guys that this this is a reliable source of purchasing power you see clearly how silver tracks it you can even put oil us oil new price scale and i'll put log look at oil how how it tracks this purchasing power same thing over and over there's no mystery guys to this there's no so look i don't want to dismiss if somebody says there's manipulation okay fine but you can't you can't action on that there's no way to action on it and people or if you refuse to action on the chart telling you there's a breakout because you're always fearing oh there's manipulation they'll never let the price go up well this chart's telling you the opposite that the, you will be able to play that who cares if there's manipulation or not you will be able the chart tells you there's a low risk high reward entry where silver is depreciated and your purchasing power starts tumbling down like it did here like it's doing here then you get an edge and you know that you'll be able to uh to, to have an edge and make uh, some money guys all right that's it for me man hope uh, you enjoyed this one see ya ciao guys 
please subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell. Thanks, guys.